Okay, real quick video all about origins and insertions. These are going to be my four steps to learning origins and insertions, okay? First big tip before I get started is allow yourself time so that you can do this for every single one of the muscles that you need to remember ready for your exam. First step is get a really good clear picture of the muscle that you're working on. So here's one I prepared earlier, thank you Google. If it's not clear in your manual, go on Google and get one. You wanna be able to see where the in origi of origin is, so that's this part here, the one closest to the midline, closest to the heart, and you wanna be able to see where the insertion is. Insertion is the bit furthest from the heart. So this is the gastrocnemius here. You can then, in your own words, this is step two now, in your own words, think about where does it start where does it finish? So if it starts up here, I'm going, well, that's the femur, and there's some knobbly bits on the back of the femur, that's where it sits on. Is it the front or is it the back of the femur? Well, it's got to be the back because the calf is in the back of my leg. Then down here, I've got the heel. I'm going to put that as heel bone in my own words. Okay, but I can see on here it says calcaneus. I know that that means heel bone. So, and that's on the top of the calcaneus. It's not on the bottom of the calcaneus, it's on the top. So really what I find people probably um, suffer with in relation to the learning their origins and insertions is because they don't look in enough detail. So really look in detail, but put it in your own words, okay? So I'm going to say, originates femur, back of it on the bobbly bits, and then insert down on the top of the heel. Now, I'm going to go and then check my notes, so this will be then in my manual, and I check my notes, so once I've worked out my own words, I check the notes to confirm, and then as I confirm that, that should then tell me what it is in the speak that they want to hear it. So it might then just say, posterior of the femoral condyles as a way of originating. Well, I've said that just in different speaks, so I've just got to translate what I already know. It's less confusing because you know it in your head. You've just got to link it now. Same with the calcaneus. It might say superior part of the calcaneus as the insertion. Now, again, that sounds really long and wordy. But if you know it in your terms, it makes it much easier to be able to understand. So then you can then go and memorize the picture. So you bring the picture back. And this time you go from using your words to using their words. So you go through and you go, okay posterior of the femoral condyles is where it originates and superior of the calcaneus is where it inserts sorted that's basically as easy as it is now that sounds simple um but it's really because a lot of the time people look at an image and go well i don't remember it and that's because they haven't actually physically tried to link it to something that they know or physically link it to something that's going on in their brain currently. So what you need to be able to do is as much as possible, go through it in your terms and then apply it to what the manual is wanting you to know that because that'll help you link it. It won't just be a load of jumbled up terms. So that's my four top tips and four steps really for being able to understand your origins and insertions. Number one, get a good clear picture. Number two, work out where the origin and insertion is in your own words. Then number three, check your notes to confirm that that's correct and apply the new language. This is your new funked up language. And then memorize that picture. So get the picture back and memorize it using their words to help you. And that should really help you understand. And above all, final tip, like I said at the beginning, give yourself plenty of time to be able to do one or two muscles a day maybe, rather than trying to cram it in. If you've got to cram it in and it's last minute, then so be it, but allow yourself plenty of time. Don't rush origins and insertions. So I wish you all the best with your exams coming up. If you have any questions about this, then do contact me, but please do pop a little comment below because I love hearing how you're getting on and any questions that you have. So have a great day. Take care. Bye.